Welcome back guys, today we will be continuing graph theory So today we will be learning about BFS or breadth first search algorithm for the construction of spanning tree So to understand this let me show you an example So let me first draw the graph So this is our graph So first to continue this we need to remove the self loop and the parallel edges So let me do that So after removing the self loop and the parallel edges our graph looks like this so this method starts like this so first in the question uh, it will be mentioned any vertex or you can start with any random vertex if it's not mentioned so supposedly we are starting from v3 so we need to choose the vertex v3 and label it as 0 so there are many steps you need to write all the steps properly so suppose i am writing like this so v3 i have chosen it the vertex starting vertex and we we'll label it as 0 so now we need to find its all we need to draw its all adjacent edges and label them as one all the adjacent edges so we need to draw it according to the diagram so this is like this and so like this so this was v2 so it will be labeled as one v5 one and v4 is also one so these are the connecting edges for adjacent edges of v3 and they are labeled as 1 so now we need to label adjacent edges of all these 1 vertices labeled in 1 vertices so and we need to keep in mind that we sh it is since it is for spanning tree we, not, we should not make it a circuit if we not join the make it loop or circuit so now adjacent of this so this will be v1 mark it as 2 from v4 v7 mark is at 2 this is also v6 mark it as 2 so now for v4 we, if we we'll join v5 and v4 it will become a circuit so we will not do that now all the two level edges will be again drawn so we can do from anywhere but we should not make it a circuit so from v1 i am doing up to v8 and label it as 3 we should not join this so this is a required spanning tree so after that you can remove the labels so this was all about breadth first search algorithm thanks for watching it